All right, let's get to our last segment of the day here. Let's talk a little LeBron James. Let's quickly go through the latest on the King. Look, we talk a lot about what LeBron James' impact is on the court. We need to talk about his impact off the court. The dude is opening up a public school in Cleveland. Just an incredible, incredible show of generosity from the LeBron James Foundation to the city of Cleveland. That is how you give back to your community as a superstar athlete. Not just giving back as a foundation, not just supporting a ton of college kids from the Cleveland area. No, no, no. LeBron James is opening up a school. It's incredible. I love when NBA players do this. We saw uh, Jalen Rose do this in Detroit with his uh, big-time charter school that he has. Great for LeBron James and his foundation. All right, we got another rumor here. Is LeBron James going to back out of his contract? Whoa! Sports Illustrated saying that LeBron James should back out of his contract. That's not going to happen. LeBron James is not back at, backing out of his deal. He is going to stay on the Lakers. He signed a four-year deal. He wants to be in Los Angeles. He's going to stay there. There is no threat. I can't believe, believe that Sports Illustrated wrote this article. Where would he go? Philly? The 76ers don't even have enough cap space right now to sign LeBron James. LeBron is on a Europe, uh, currently a tour of Europe right now on a massive cruise. Leave the man alone. Please, let him relax. Let him enjoy his life. He's been under so much stress over the past five years. I think he deserves a little bit of a vacation and a little bit of a break. But a little bit of a break here in LeBron. Rumors today's Cam Rogers show is brought to you by Autolist. Are you looking for a used or news car? Are you tired of browsing a million sites? Head to Autolist.com or download their top-rated iPhone or Android mobile app and get the best car shopping experience you will find anywhere on the interwebs. All right, let's move on to our next rumor. Did LeBron and Dan Gilbert clash over Donald Trump? Well, we know that LeBron has been very outspoken during Trump's presidency, notably calling him a moron on Twitter a couple of times. But I think LeBron was pretty upset when Dan Gilbert donated to the Trump campaign. Again, we know how against Donald Trump LeBron James is, so it doesn't surprise me that the two of them clashed over this. It's just, it's not very surprising. I mean, they're two very different people. I've said over the past couple years that I really don't think LeBron James and Dan Gilbert ever liked each other. I think they respected each other as business people, but I never thought that they actually liked each other as individual people. And just my hypothesis continued, continues to get confirmed 20 times over, the more and more we hear about LeBron and Dan Gilbert's relationship. But before we move on here to the next one, we want to give a big time shout out to all of our veterans from the United States military. Give me a USA in the comments. If you know a former or active duty military member, shout out to any military members that we have watching the Cam Rogers Show here today. We love you. Thank you for the service that you have for this country. It, we, we would not be where we are today without the sacrifice that you are making. Again, give me a USA in the comments for all the veterans and the active duty members that we have out there. We love you. We thank you for your service to our country. Come on, people. Where are my USAs in the comments? We have 1,600 people watching us live right now. I want 1,600 USAs in the comments for our military. All right, let's go on to our next LeBron James rumor here. That LeBron banner is coming down. The famous witness banner is unfortunately crashing. They actually had a weird issue yesterday where they had to stop in the middle due to a couple of storms. But I wonder if they ever put up anything new like that banner. I wonder what they're going to replace it with. We'll have a picture for you guys once we have a replacement for that banner. As of right now, it's simply just an empty wall. All right, let's get to our next LeBron James rumor here. Are the Lakers checking in with LeBron on every move? Well, according to Ramona Shelburne, yeah. Every single time the Lakers have made a free agency move so far, they have called LeBron to make sure that he is okay with it. And hey, if you sign LeBron James, that's what comes with the territory. So look, you got to do it if you're the Lakers. I don't think LeBron is playing GM here. Like, I don't think he's going to hourly be like, don't sign this guy or sign this guy. But I think it's good that the Lakers are like, hey, we're signing this guy. Is that okay with you? We'll see. I think it's fine that the Lakers are asking LeBron what is going on. But I don't know from you guys, how many titles will LeBron win with the Lakers? Is it one? Is it two? Is he going to win four? One every single year for his contract. I think he will win at least one if not two. 
So let me know in the comment section how many titles you think LeBron will win with the Lakers. Again, like I said, I think at least one, maybe two, depending on the stars that the Lakers pick up. But that's going to do it today on the Cam Rogers Show. I hope you all enjoy your July 4th. This is a, a emotional July 4th for me today. My grandfather passed away yesterday at the age of 97. He was a veteran. The man gave his life for this country. He loved uh, July 4th. This was always one of his favorite holidays. So for him to pass yesterday was an emotional time for myself and my family. However, I know that he is looking down on all of us and wishing us the best Independence Day and for all of us to have a great, great rest of the summer. It is only July 4th, so we got two full months left of these hot, hot days before we come back around for the start of the NBA season in October and obviously the start of football season in September. But that's going to do it for me today. You can follow me on Twitter at SportsThene for all your NBA news and updates. But for now, we'll see you.